All right, I'm going to show you how to do fractional array models for division. All right, division problems, this simply means how many halves are in three-fourths. Well, the first thing you want to do is start with a pictorial representation. You would do this with students after you've done fraction strips, um, fraction circles, etc. Everything tangible and concrete. This would be a pictorial representation. All right, and probably you may want to do this after you do the standard algorithm to reinforce why invert and multiply is the, is the correct procedure for division of fractions. So for my first hole, I want to cut it into three-fourths. And I want to shade three out of four. Okay, I made my cuts vertical. In the second model, I want to cut it into halves going in the horizontal direction, and I want to shade one half. Now, I can't right now deal with force and halves as is. We have to have common denominators. To create common denominators, you redraw the units. And I'm going to reshade. Okay, so now we have to talk about what size pieces that we're comparing here. We're comparing fours and halves. So you want to take the fourth and you want to cut it into, into a half. Okay, over here the half, I want to cut it into fourths. Alright, so now we can create equivalent fractions with the, you know, fractions with the same denominator. This one has now gone from three-fourths to six-eighths. The half is now four out of eight. So now we're talking about the same size pieces and we can, we can go to work with the problem. Alright, the unit has now become these four pieces, not the entire whole. So our goal is to see how many four pieces, which are now the half, will go into the six eighths. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, these four are equivalent to our unit. So that's one, and these two pieces are two out of the four, which represented our unit. So you can also write this as 6 out of 4 because 4 represents the unit. 